WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we've got a little bit of a mix. That mix is really coming from the Dow, which is up 32 points, basically flat. Otherwise, the other indices are trading lower. The Dow, the S&P is off 2, the NASDAQ 105, the Russell's down 70 cents, semis are off 14, trading's down 38, so no real damage out there. Gold is up about 7 bucks, trading out 1935, about 3 tenths the upside, 7 tenths for silver, or 17 pennies. Light sweep crude is back a buck. 80.60 is the print there. Natural gas off 8 cents, $3.13. And the 30 year treasury is up 27 ticks. She's printed out at 130, 2022. So, what's all that mean? Jelly bean? Well, let's go take a look at nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini, which yesterday, Confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside. Its first price projection will be 41 But price needs to close back above 40.35 and a quarter. That is the top of its daily profile. It is trading right now at 40.32. So certainly it's dealing with resistance. Now that spot follow tunix still below its 50-day exponential moving average. So price should be able to, the ES mini that is, should be able to take out that resistance level. It may not do it for a day or two. But it should be able to do that. The NQ also confirming an A to B equals CD to the upside. It's price projection 12,317. You can see that price is trading in those yellow diagonal lines. Those are trend line resistance levels out there. I'd expect that price to at least pull back today. It's already done that a little bit. Um, maybe tomorrow as well. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, just been consolidating near the bottom of its daily profile. It's been sideways, narrow range bodied candles for about the last uh, six, seven, eight, nine sessions out there. Um, so I'm not clear. There's a road momentum indicator bottom pattern out there, but not really clear what its real intent is out here. If we take a look at Goldilocks, it is trading above the top of its daily profile right now. Silver still consolidating with inside its profiles, having formed a road momentum indicator top. Lightsweep crude found resistance at the top of that daily profile. You hear us here talk or you hear me talk about top and bottom of daily profiles or weekly profiles out there. They're just simply where sellers and buyers reside. They provide you and I with a competitive advantage. If we take a look at natural gas, it actually did form a bullish hammer candle yesterday. It was also a doji. Price is consolidating with inside that daily profile. It did form a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom pattern. But is it real? Well, a close above $3.38 would uh, uh, be casting its vote for yes, it would be a real breakout. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're up to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.